Hey, this is Braun from the band Mastodon. And uh, yeah, coming over there for some good things festival. And I'm very excited. Beautiful, mate. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Thanks, brother. So Mastodon will be in Australia soon as part of Good Things Festival, which kicks off in Melbourne on December 6th, goes through Sydney and Brisbane over consecutive days. So it's not that far yet, mate. Are you the sort of person you're packed and ready to go yet, or do you leave things to the last minute? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, la I'm a morning of type of guy, you know? <laughs> um, no, I'll get, I'll get it together probably the night before. I've, uh, I've, I can't, I can't count and tell you how many times I've packed and gone and gone away. <laughs> so, uh, I'm pretty, I know exactly what to do. I'm a very, very light packer. Uh, mm -hmm. I try to bring next to nothing, especially if I'm only going to be gone for like a week or something, man, you, you'd be, you'd be, uh, you'd, you'd be surprised at what I end up bringing. It's like bare bones. You know what I mean? Yeah. Smart man. Uh, um, as a band, bro, like, do you, uh, do you do you look as forward to playing festival shows as what you do as your own headline shows? Like, there must be different sort of different beasts. They're different, you know. I'm, I, I just, you know, I'm just happy to be there, man. I'm just excited to get up on stage and play in front of, in front of anybody. I don't care if there's five people there. I don't care if, care if there's ten thousand people there. I give the same exact show every time. But yeah. I mean, I'm not going to say that. If it's some crazy, you know, I've opened in fire Iron Maiden or something, you know, there's been there's been moments in my life, you know, like like big shows where I'm very, very excited to to be a part of it, you know, but but I really like just I like playing, you know, I mean, I I like uh, being at festivals. Uh, I like I don't care if I'm playing during the day. I don't care if it's at night. I just uh, I, I, you know, a lot of pinch me moments in my life of of i can't believe that i get to do this for a living um you know i'm gonna try to ride it out <laughs> but you know it's just very i'm very fortunate super lucky dude to uh, be able to do this for a living and so any opportunity i get to get up there with my sticks and sing my heart out for some people i'm gonna do it it's, i love it fantastic now good things also features bands like K or carrie king the gaslight anthem some 41 violent femmes l7 Three at eleven and more, mate. But is there anyone on the lineup that you guys haven't played with before? Like you would have played it pretty much most people. I don't think well. I don't think we've played with Violent Femmes before. I think that that I think that that's a new one. But it's possible that we've played with them, like on a random festival somewhere in Europe. You know, sometimes those lineups are you know there's eight stages and you can't keep track of. But I think I would have remembered that. So I'm pretty excited about playing with Violent Femmes. Now, for those not familiar with Mastodon, bro, like, run us through a typical live show. Like, what can people expect from you? Good things. I mean, you know, it's we're kind of like it's sort of the Metallica school of playing a live show. You know, it's like a bunch of dudes that are in jeans and t-shirts and roll up there and kind of do our our talking on the field. You know what I mean? We uh just get down to business and we play the hell out of our instruments and there's a lot of sweat and there's a little bit of blood maybe but uh that's kind of our deal you know we we got we have songs and so we play we play the songs uh it's high energy and so i play all the notes i play all my drums and uh I, you know usually there's a pretty decent sized pit going but then there's some times where we ask the audience to do a little bit of math homework so you know, it's a nice, it's a nice balance, I think. <laughs> nice. Uh, you also recently released a single, "Floods of Triton" with Lamb of God, mate. So, how's the early reception been for that song? I mean, it seems good to me. I have, you know, haven't been able to get out there and play the song live or anything in front of people, but uh, it, you know, it, like it was. People seem to be digging it. Uh, people seem to be liking it. It's a, it's a heavy it's a heavy song and you know i think fans of both bands were pleasantly surprised when we just sort of dropped it out of nowhere on them you know so <laughs> i think it, i think it's always cool and when when um especially a band like us and a band like lamb of god get together we've been friends for longer than both bands have been really around you know since, since they were burned the priest and and i met randy and those guys in 98 or so so it's just a cool thing. It's just fun to collaborate with your friends. And it's just, uh, I think, you know, I like doing stuff like that. I want to do more stuff like that. I think, uh, 
I want to jam with as many different people as possible, release songs with our friends, and I think it would be cool. How, how does something like that work, mate, like in the creative process? Like do you use, both write songs that you want and then you blend them together, or do you have certain parts that you write each? Or how, how does it work? Well, for this for this particular song, basically Bill and I had come up with a, uh, a song, you know, musically, and just basically asked um, – Randy to come in and do and write lyrics and and do some vocals alongside Troy and then we asked Mark if he would uh, get with Brent and do a, a dual like solo thing on it so that's kind of how it went for this one in particular but it can go any kind of way you know what I mean if it, if there was if it was a little bit more like pre plan that we're gonna go in a studio and write a song together you know you could be like okay you bring you bring a couple parts and and I'll bring a couple parts and. You know, so there, you know, there's all different ways it could go, but that's how this particular thing ended up going. Wait, and the press release says that it marks the first step in the most recent chapter. I was sorry, in the next chapter for Mastodon, mate. So, what what do they mean by that? I don't really know. I mean, I just, I guess it's like the first new music from Mastodon since Hushed and Grim. So, I I would say that that it means that you know, it's kind of the next step. Uh, you know, I don't. I wouldn't say that the song is indicative of the new material, but I don't, I wouldn't say that any single song would ever be indicative of the overall sound of anything that we were going to come out with. Because I think that, and sort of pride ourselves on offering, especially when we're putting out a full album, that it's got a lot of variety to it. So I wouldn't say you know it's like a puzzle. Uh, I look at an album like a puzzle. You know, what I mean, you got to every there's it has to be balance there, and everything sort of fits fits together and tells one long story but it doesn't necessarily all sound the same, you know? So does that mean that you're actually underway writing the next album, mate, or is that just, is that something for the future? Oh, no, we've been, yeah, we've been writing for, we were writing before the, the, uh, to the Leviathan tour here in the States and Canada. And uh, it's, you know, we're just now digging back in because we sort of just got home from that tour we got we were gone for two months and then we had like a month and a half long of like weekend warrior stuff where we were going out and doing festivals on the weekends and so you can't really split your mind in two there and like say okay uh monday tuesday wednesday we're gonna work on new material then we're gonna drill the set then we're gonna get on a flight and go play this festival then we're gonna come back home it just doesn't work like that so uh we are going to we're digging back in. Actually, I think on Monday is when we really start uh, fine tuning some of the material that we had before. Good, mate. Well, just say like the thing with festivals is like people go along to that and they don't know every band on the lineup. So say someone's come along to good things and they don't know too much about Mastodon. Like what three songs would you tell them to listen to? So they got a bit of, a bit of a picture of what to expect. Uh, let's see. I would say I would listen to, Blood and Thunder, uh, The Last Baron, and um, Mother Puncher. Very good. All right, mate. Well, before we let you go, we've started a new segment where before I chat to you, I go through your social media and check, pick out a couple of photos that I want okay. to show you to sort of explain what's going on there. So... The first one I found was this one. Like, what, what's the go with that head? Do you remember what was happening there? <laughs> I feel like that was on tour with Primus, probably. Uh, 2000 and, uh, what's that? 2018, it said it was. Yep, that was on tour with Primus in 2018. And somebody brought a head with, with long hair, and, and they were using it to headbang instead of themselves headbanging. So I guess maybe, who knows, like the person might have had vertigo, but they didn't want to make it look like they weren't having a good time. So they figured I might as well, I should, should probably bring a, you know, a, a, a head of a, a mannequin or something that has long hair. So they don't think I'm not into it, you know. <laughs> That's a fair assumption. And I found this one too of uh, Troy on stage. Like, how often does he get down and do push ups before you play? Uh, I think that that's, um, part of the metal allegiance thing, um, that he does from time to time. 
and I've done it before as well, which is pretty fun gig with those guys. But the problem is that he just comes out and sings and he doesn't play the bass. Um, so he doesn't know what to, he's like, he doesn't know what to do with his hands or he doesn't know what to do with him, himself really while he's not singing. So he might as well just do some push ups and try to get in shape. You know what I mean? <laughs> very good, man. All right. Well, thanks very much for your time, Brad. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Mastodon will be in Australia as part of Good Things this December. Tickets are at least 80% sold in every city. So get a lot, get your tickets to get along soon, or you'll probably miss out. Yeah, baby.